to go check out my local camera shop. It's been months since I've been in there. They have been open for quite a while, but I was reluctant, of course, with the situation. I haven't been filming there at all, and just in general, I thought this was a good time now to check them out, see how they're doing. I was going to pick up a camera strap, one of the Peak Design ones that are quick to release. That should be really nice for the camera stuff. They had recently had a window smashed, and it's been two, three times, maybe even four that I can think of offhand that they've been either robbed or vandalized in some way. It's just super frustrating with this situation, so I'll do my little part of going there, talking about it, and picking up a strap. Get my mask on, change my glasses, of course. These are prescription. Yep. Okay. Hi, it's been a while. Yeah, it has been a while. How are you? Pretty good. How are you? Yeah, doing all right. Yeah. Then okay. Here. Nice. So, uh, let's see. What the leash was the one I was thinking about. Are they different colors? You just got the gray one? We have ash and we have black. I think I go black. It's sweaty. Yeah. And, uh, okay, here they are. The anchor things. Yeah. This comes with a few of them, maybe? It does. Okay. I'm gonna look at the tripods as well. Yeah. So, let's put this here. Probably pretty slim with the used gear these days. Especially because in the last break-in, that's about all they took. With oh, jeez. So it actually... Okay, I was hoping it was just vandal, you know, vandal stuff, but not... No, they actually took some used gear. That's... Yeah, but... It's like added to the troubles that are already happening. It's stacking. Right. You know, they didn't take anything valuable, but it still all has to be traced and accounted for. Exactly. Especially yeah. consignment. Consignment, you want to pay the people now. Yeah. That's frustrating. It is frustrating. I'm going to check out the tripods. Yeah. Okay. We have a few over here, and then I got a couple up by the cash register that are pretty cool. Okay. Uh, I have one out that a microphone is on that I'll set up and take a look. With the little Manfrotto down there, it's pretty cool. The DLC and that ProMaster with the bendy legs. Pretty nice. Okay. Are uh, you talking about this one? Uh, no. Actually, this one. Oh, it gets extra large? Well, it gets larger. And in addition to being able to hold standard devices, it has a quick release thing? Uh, built in phone holder. Oh, okay. Nice. So, the point of this video is not about the camera strap. It's gonna work out nicely. I had actually used these. Cameracraft lent me some of the Peak Design stuff that they had available to make some video content on, and I did that previously. That got me interested in it finally picking up a strap for myself. With camera shops, I don't know if you have one in your area, I'd be curious to know. In my case, Camera Craft has helped me out a lot. I can remember as a kid in the previous location, at least one of them, going there i had a film camera I had some film develops and talking to them and they were helping me out and just a good experience so the whole family type of thing kids get into photography through avenues such as that it's just nice to see local camera shops i want them to survive in my case with camera craft they helped me out like i said with the video stuff a lot as well which i always try to mention them they're not asking me for anything quite a few videos on the channel, uh, especially all the hands-on stuff, of course, but other ones that they let me something to check out. The same day, they let me use the Sony ZV-1, so you can look forward to a video on that, hopefully, if it works out. The point is, try to support your local camera shops uh, if you can. I think it's a good idea, in my opinion, so the, all of the negative things, just try to counteract it a little bit as I can. Anyways, Scott Trophy Bonsai, thanks.